Hey, and welcome to How It Plays. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we are taking you through Paris, the city of lights. And we have uh, the Eiffel expansion. All right, but before we jump into the game, let's take you through the primer. Cobblestone streets, delicate architecture, and the most delicious pastries in the world. Who wouldn't want to spend an evening in beautiful Paris? De Vere has made it possible to build and stroll Paris with one other very special person in the two-player only game, Paris, La Cité des Lumières. The game is played over two phases. In the first phase, players take turns and choose to either draft a building or lay a cobblestone tile. The buildings they draft will be built in the second phase and can only be placed on cobblestone of the player's color or the mixed color spaces. Strategy in the first phase revolves around choosing the right cobblestone tile placement and orientation, as well as drafting buildings the player thinks they can actually build. In the second phase, players will either place a building or activate a postcard for extra scoring abilities. When placing buildings, players should remember that they can only place buildings on their own cobblestone spaces and that only buildings orthogonally adjacent to a street light will score. The game ends when players cannot place any more buildings or activate any more postcards. Points are scored by multiplying each building's size by the number of orthogonally adjacent street lights, determining the largest building group, and finally adding any postcard benefits. We will be playing with the new Eiffel expansion, which adds eight new postcards and charming 3D miniatures. Want to join us as we take a stroll through Paris? Join us at the table as we show you how it plays. All right, welcome to Paris. It doesn't look like Paris. Well, <laughs> not yet. It will look like Paris. Um, so you should have a pretty good feel for what Paris, the City of Lights, plays like, mm -hmm. right? And and we shouldn't have to go through much of the rules, so uh, we could jump right to it. So yeah. if you take a look at the table, here is Paris. Now, uniquely, we are playing in the box. Most games you have yes. don't typically play in the box. Yeah. Um, I think the last game I played in a box was uh, Rattle Battle Grab the Loot, where oh, you actually yeah, roll dice right. and throw them in the box lid. Yeah. Um, that's the last one I can remember. It's kind of cool, though. I, I think this one is actually makes sense to me, yeah. to be quite honest. Um, so, with that said, uh, we're going to go and jump in. You're going to go first, and I want to talk about our first phase. Yeah, absolutely. So, in our this is one of those games you're going to play in two phases. Mm -hmm. So, in the first phase, we can either... Uh, play one of our cobblestone tiles, so we're kind of laying the cobblestone foundation for all of the things we're going to build yep. in the city of Paris. Um, or we can draft one of these uh, little three-dimensional uh, tiles, which I don't know if you can tell they're three-dimensional right now, but they are. They are pretty cool. cool. Yeah. So uh, we can do one of those two things. When uh, when all of our t cobblestone is laid out, mm -hmm. all of our tiles have been taken by one or the other of us, we'll move on to phase two. Sounds good to me. All okay. right, so... Um, grab so the first ahead, tile. Yeah, don't uh, we don't show each other, just so you can see what's going on here. Okay. And you know, you know what the tile colors mean. Yeah. And stuff from the primer. So. Yes. Um, but you're so. going to get to go first. Okay. Cool. So, so I'm just going to place this oh, down. You're going to go right into it. Right huh? here. I'm just diving right in. Yeah. You go for it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you place these tiles, if that's what you so choose to do, um, they can basically go anywhere you want, right? It, yeah. They can go in any of those. Um, uh, any of these, you know, 16 locations here. All right, go ahead. Uh, and I like to make sure you guys can see what we have because I want you all to know what we're facing here. Yeah. Decision-wise, right? Well, you've got a lot of, a lot of interesting, I'm terrible just colors. Up my real estate. I hope so. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go like that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. I I think I'm going to take a tile, actually. I'm going to take this guy. Yep. Uh, I'm actually going to do the same thing, so I'm going to take this. Oh. I'm gonna, let's put them up here. Oh, yes, we have this whole section okay. so yeah. they can see what we've that got um, anywhere to the side. Okay. And... Mm 
Yeah, I'd like to place this. Let's do that. <clears throat> All right, on you. Hmm. I'll do this. Oh, mm -hmm. taking my light, my street light. You better believe it. <laughs> hum, hum, hum. To you. Hmm. Okay. Who? Um. You're probably wondering why aren't we taking all of the tiles? <laughs> City tiles we can, it's because if you can't place them, you're going to lose points. Yeah, exactly. So you want to only take what you can uh, We're going to have to take them at the end, yes. but it's like you almost want to construct your... You want to build your foundation, your plans, right, before mm -hmm. you jump into anything crazy. So, um, Not that I'm doing a stellar job with that right now, but... Let's do... Let's do that. Hmm. That's a good one. Another thing to remember, too, is that um, the only buildings that are going to score are the ones that are next to streetlights. Yep. And they have to be orthogonally adjacent, not diagonally. You better believe it. <laughs> oh, I do. Hmm. It's like a very quiet game. Yeah, I guess, right? Because it's very thoughtful. You don't really have to explain your move because it's really simple. You're just doing one of two things. Yeah. You're just doing the things, really. Doing all the things. Uh, I'll take this. Hmm. There you go. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, interesting. All right. That's probably not great. I hmm. guess I'll do. Uh, mm. There's no lights over there. Yeah. This is, is not good. Very unfortunate. Um. Oh, well, here's what I'll do. I'll take a gamble and go down here. Ooh, that's a big gamble. That's a really big gamble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I'm down to my last tile here. Yeah, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do here. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm going to take some risks, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, that's kind of a big risk, though. There. Hmm. Ah, shoot. You know what I did? I do this every time mm -mm. we play a game with one-sided polyominals. Yeah, hey, you can't flip you them. You can't flip them. So no. in my head, I'm like flipping tiles, and you absolutely cannot do that. So I might have just You're going to end up flipping tables by the time this is Maybe. over. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to take <clears throat> this one. Okay. <laughs> I'll take... This one. And you could pass. You don't have to do anything now that you're done, right? Well, I guess actually, yeah, theoretically you could pass. We'll go there.
All right. The foundation has been laid. We've ended phase <laughs> one. So like I said, you could pass and not draft any more buildings. Mm -hmm. And the book says you should try to have at least three or four. Right. Um, I went a little bit big, so did you. I did too. So we're going to be stuck with some buildings at the end, I think. We're definitely well, not getting them all on the board. You're sure. definitely not getting them all on the board. We'll see, we'll put if, it that uh, way. see if we can uh, plan this out mm -hmm. nicely. <laughs> um, um, so now let's place a building or take a postcard action. Okay. Yes. So I will start by placing a building mm. here. Oh, see, that's not good. This is where I really wanted to do that, oh, yeah, you but can't I can't do that. actually do that. And the problem is, like, if I put this, well, I could score it if I put it here, I guess. Yeah, you get one time. You get one time. Mm. One time, one time. Um, yeah, even if I put it, like, uh... Even if I put it like that, I'd be, I'd be tricky. Mm. Um, oh, we're like that. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's legal. Legal play. Oh, yeah, you could have there even gone go. down to the bottom. Down to here? Yeah, I'm saying you could have either done either way. You have plenty of opportunities to do that. Yeah, all right. Maybe I'll do it like that then. Fine. That's your turn. You put your little uh, chimney on it. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna build this guy right here. Of course you are. Oh, is that why you wanted to do that? I should have yeah. kept it. Yeah. Ugh, just it's the thinking. last time I listened to you. I could have put it anywhere. <laughs> I've got plenty of real estate. I know, but I really wanted to put it there because I wanted to put something there. Oh, well, you can't but have I all listened the space. But I listened to your stupid voice in my head <laughs> pretending like you cared. I did. I was looking for options for you. You were looking for options for yourself. <laughs> well, now where am I going to put that piece? Always trust your gut, people. Don't mm. listen to your opponents. <laughs> <laughs> that should kind of go without saying, right? Um, uh, blah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. That really screwed me, that move you just made. Really? Yep. Oh, was that all your your real estate? Yeah. A lot of it. I was trying to take up my stuff. Hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That I wanted, like, I was trying to do this to take up the most of those purple spaces because I knew that you would use them, too, you know? Mm. This is why I'm not good at take that games. You're very good at taking advantage of me, and I'm not very good at taking advantage of you. <laughs> uh, so you're going to place the hotel? Yeah, I think I'll just place the hotel, like, right here. Um, and this one scores... This scores the number of empty spaces mm -hmm. from the edge of the board. Closest edge. Closest edge. Yeah, so you got to put yeah. your chimney on it. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking about whether I want to put it there or maybe there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for that. Okay. okay, so you just built the hotel. Yep. And then I'm going to flip this. Yeah, yeah I think you... <clears throat> and then put your thing on it, right? And put my guy on there, yep. So I'll put this... No, I don't want to go there yet. I'm going to go here. Ouch. There you go.
You blocked me from scoring my hotel. In that one direction. Yeah, yeah you're going to put your other piece over there, though. Oh, yeah, I have to. I'm just going to put that there. Mm. Hmm. So if I take the skull, for example, place him on your real estate, I get to share in some of the points for anything you build over the catacombs. Mm. If I choose to build there, mm -hmm. which I don't have any pieces that will fit there, so mm. sorry about that. Uh, yes, you do. Nope, not going to do it. <laughs> That area has not been, <laughs> it hasn't been designated, zoned. No, it hasn't it's not, zoned not, properly not been properly for, zoned. For my pieces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I am like, I'm so SOL right now. Completely. Hmm. This piece really screwed me up. That was a nice shaped a building. Um, all right, so, hmm, all right, well, I might as well just put this out there. Hmm, that's a nice one. Yeah, I know it is. All of my pieces had pretty little homes right in the is. city. Um, so I could put the Eiffel Tower here. You what? could, yeah. And that expands. Um, the building length. Um, I believe for both of us. No, uh, no, it just rescore. It it scores double. Points oh, that's right for that light. For that light. Okay. Which is scoring nothing. Which is scoring nothing. Yeah, that's right. So, that's right. That's the Arc de Triomphe that extends it. This one extends, yeah, because yeah. you're gonna put that over, uh, kind of a like a bridge, kind of. Bridge over troubled waters. <laughs> yes, actually, none of these are actually good for me, to be honest. I don't want to double score any of those lights because it's going to block out what I need. So then I would. Mm. I would probably do the Arc de Triumph. Right? Now, just sure. the Arc, just making sure I can place it yep. properly on. It's got to be the two ends sit on a cobblestone space of your color, so it has to be my color. And it has to be cobblestone on both ends. Yeah. So it would have to be like here, for example. Right. Um, and then that would extend any buildings I build up next to it. And I'm not sure I want to do that because that might end up hurting me worse than helping me. Yeah. To be quite honest. Um, Mona Lisa is good for any empty spaces around her, right? Yeah, because it's the Louvre. So you're building the Louvre. You don't. You want it to not be distracted by anything else around it. So, mm. so you're getting points for stuff that's. I'm probably going to build her here then. You have to build it on one of your buildings. Oh, on a build. That's right. Hmm. Eh, this guy. Okay. Is probably. So that's your Louvre. That's the Louvre. Yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. So I think I might place the obelisk mm. since I can't do anything else. I have to kind of to kind of make up for some bad planning here. I'm gonna put it right here. So the obelisk you can put on any of your spaces, mm -hmm. and it's gonna double scoring for everything in two directions on its axis, basically. Mm. Um, so I'll get to grab some points that way, hopefully. Hmm. Okay. I think these postcards are so pretty. They are very nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just build a building here. Mm. All right. Um, you... I will. Wish I could get another building to touch that corner, but I can't. So I really don't. I don't think I have any places to actually place these buildings right now. Um, 
which is unfortunate. But, um, I couldn't really want to do that. I'm like looking at where these street lights are. For the Eiffel Tower, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. So you have to pick. Um, I could put her here. You could. I could put it right there. And it would make your double double lights for you at least. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. I should do that. I'll do that there. This must be like central. <laughs> City center. <laughs> I guess so, right? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um... I'm going to take the uh, the four quarters. Ah, yeah, I wanted that one. Which I just have to have um, buildings touching the four quarters. Right now I only have one. Yeah. So you only get one point. Right now. Yeah. Yep. Um, I should probably take Notre Dame. Yeah, I'm taking Notre Dame right here. Boop. Put that there. So that allows me to use your building mm. when counting my largest building. Yeah, that's a good one, see? Yeah. Um, hmm. So I've got two more pieces left, two more buildings to, to lay. So I could, in theory, go here. Mm -hmm. And that gets me another quarter, mm -hmm. which isn't terrible. Yeah. And I'm out. I You're can't out do anything else. Yeah. All right. So then I'll place my last building. Now, this building will be worth nothing if I put it here. But on its own, it's worth nothing because it's not next to a streetlight. But yeah. for the four quarters, it gives me a third give quarter, extra. which is worth yeah. more points than it as, as right. it would as a building on its okay. own. Okay. That's smart. Um, yeah. So that's would it. Would you like to take any more turns? No, I seen. can't even place that. Yeah, we don't even have. I need to be spots. able to place it on two. It's got to touch two of my cobblestones, and there's none. You the can only... theoretically place it here. No, because it's not my cobblestone. Yeah, it is. The purple. Well, it's like shared, so you can use uh, that. Yeah, I don't know. It's it specifically says in the rules your cobblestone. I know, but it also says you can only build on your cobblestones. True. So, I mean, I'm just saying I would allow it. You would, huh? But um, not that it really makes a difference either, because it's not a building. And it's it would not... extend my buildings by two more spaces. Yeah. But is it really worth it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it would look pretty cool on the board. I could, but it's like, can it go <laughs> over a building? You know? Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of weird. If all the right, Arc, right. Arc de Triomphe was literally built on top of another building, that would be weird. I guess so. <laughs> it you shouldn't know, really like, go over top. Like it's a building going through the center of the arc, <laughs> which would be. So bizarre. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now, yeah. So that ends phase two, right? So yeah. we uh, we go on to scoring now. Yes. And, and uh, um, we should yeah. have we have a score pad actually that comes with the expansion, mm -hmm. um, which should be over in your realm. It's somewhere, somewhere. but let's get that okay. score pad and score this up. All right. Okay. So I have you have the, the scoring the score pad. pad. All right. So let's score this. Okay. Up. So the first thing we're gonna do is score our Illuminated buildings. So mm -hmm. again, only buildings that are adjacent orthogonally to a streetlight will mm -hmm. score. Um, and we get to multiply the number of spaces that that building takes up by the number of streetlights it is adjacent to. Mm -hmm. So do you want to do yours first? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's see. I've got this building is one, two, three, four, five, six spaces times, times two. two. It's 12 points. Uh, three spaces times one is three points. So that's 15. Um, f three spaces times three is nine. So 15 plus nine is 24. That's it. Okay. Let's see. So I've got... Five times five two. Five times two is ten. ten. One, two, three, four, five times, times two, two is, is ten. ten. That's 20. 20. One times two is two. No, that's... It's, it's, that's my hotel. Does it count diagonally? Oh, just one. <laughs> 21. <laughs> one, two, three, four times two is eight. It's 29. No. One, two, three. One, two, three, four times 
two times three. Because this, this is for All right. extra. There you go. So, so what was that? It was 21 plus 12 is 23, 33. Okay. All right. Um, and now we can score our largest building group. Mm. So this is just buildings of yours that are adjacent orthogonally to each other. Uh, largest group scores mm -hmm. one point per building. So this is probably your longest then. Yeah. Two, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Yeah, because she yeah. gets to count my building because of Notre Dame. Yep. And then mine is probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Okay. Um, unbuilt buildings. Unbuilt buildings. I'm going to lose six points. Three per, so three three per, per building. Um, and then we add up the points from your action cards, right? So yep. your this guy gets points. Yeah, so this is going to score... Um, each building in its path. Yes. Yeah, so three, three points, points, I think, for each. Yeah, for each of your building that it's located in the same line vertically or yeah, horizontally. Yeah, so this is going to be three, six, six, nine. Nine points. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, your hotel... Um, so it's for each space. Uh, you're gonna get one additional point for each space between this building and the closest edge of the board. And I think it, it doesn't say empty space. It doesn't say an unoccupied. No, it does not okay. say that. Um, so one, two, three points. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. No, it's the closest edge of the, closest, of the board. Yeah. So it's always gonna be the lower of the scores. You see why I have to stay on top of this. Um, what else did you build? Uh, you don't get anything for that. Um, I built the Louvre. Oh, yeah, we already scored it, just to be clear. Okay. Basically. Yeah, I feel how you already scored it. I built the Louvre, so I get one, two, three, four points for that. Because for all the empty spaces. Okay. Four. Okay. Oh, it's your orthogonally adjacent space. One, two, one, two, three, three, three. points. Three. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you have your poor quarters, right? Which you have one, two, three, which I think is four points, right? Oh, wait, hold on. It, it's You get a orthogonally adjacent space of the building the Louvre is in, not where she's at. Oh. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six points. Okay. You know, see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's It's every, so. Because she is the building. She like. is, The whole building is the yeah. Louvre. So I would get one, two, three, four, five, six points. Okay. Based on the, because uh, I was looking at the diagram, it shows you it's the whole yeah. building. It's not just her painting. Okay. Um, and then I gave you four points for your poor quarters. Poor core. Poor core. Okay. Poor core. Poor core. Poor core. Um, was that everybody? That's everybody. So we did the catacombs. We, we didn't score. Didn't happen because you didn't build happen. over it. The hotel, hotel we, scored. we scored. Notre, Notre Dame, Dame. We worked on. We got. We didn't do that. Uh, obelisk. We scored. The obelisk. Poor the quarters, poor core, Louvre, poor core, the Louvre, and the Eiffel Tower. Tower. Yeah, we got nice. them all. So okay. that's it. Cool. So um, let's see. What is the final score? So you've got 24 and 10 is 34. Mm -hmm. And 13 is 47. 47 points. Um, I've got 16 minus 6, which is 10. 10. So 43 plus 10 plus 2. 52. Well, I don't even know what you just did. We do math. Her math is just like. Well, because I've got, I have. Her math is so not Asian. I have. It hurts my brain. <laughs> it's like, I think it's actually like Turk math. Yeah. I've got, uh, I have 33 plus 10 mm -hmm. plus 9 plus 3, which is the same as plus 10 plus 2, which is a lot easier for me to do in my head. So it's 52. Or 12 for some of us. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, All right. So I won by a couple points. All Surprising right. to me. Let's go talk about this All one. Right. All right, yeah. there you go. We have uh, built Paris. Paris, That's the good. city of lights. Yes. Uh, what did you think of this one? Oh, I thought, you know what? I wasn't really sure what to think, but um, look, we've had a we've had a, a run of these sort of tile placement games. Yeah. Over right. the last few years, right? There's, uh, there's been like, they've, a lot have come out. Um, so we got a real chance to kind of experience, you know, what really works for us and what doesn't. Um, and I'm kind of leaning a lot more towards the more simplistic tile placement yeah. versus these more complex ones. Now, um, that may change because we have a more complex one to play in the coming yes, we do. coming week. <laughs> um, but for for all intents and purposes with Paris, um, I was I was actually 
pleasantly surprised with this one because um, number one, it's simple. Number two, it's a little bit different than anything we've played. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of interesting um, nuances with it. I like the fact that it's very, uh, very tight footprint, so it doesn't leave you having to sort of like plan way, way in advance. Yeah. Stuff, right? Because a lot of the bigger layouts, you've got to really plan like how to place 20 different pieces, right? Right. And then when you start to get down to the end, you're like, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Where this one is like, you, you're you basically in control of how many buildings you want to put out. So if you only draft like three buildings, you're probably going to place them all. Mm -hmm. And then maybe try to maximize your scoring through the action cards. And then and then that's it. So I for a game like this, I want it to play in 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Anything longer than that, to, in my you know, for me, it just doesn't work. And this one accomplishes that. It hits the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think what's neat about this is that it, it is tile placement, but there's more to the scoring than just placing your tiles. So mm -hmm. I think what you're used to is filling up the board with tiles, yeah. right? Like if you play any of these kinds of like tile placement games that have come out recently in the last couple of years, it's like fill up the board as much as you can and you lose points if the board's not filled up. Mm -hmm. That's not how this works. Mm. Uh, so when you're drafting, it, there's some strategy right from the beginning in that first phase where you wanna grab as many tiles as you, as you feel like you can place because there is obviously a penalty if you don't place them, you don't want to grab too many. Mm -hmm. But you also want to give yourself options yeah. because you may not be able to place, you know, the the ones that you thought you were going to be able to place, and then that puts you in a, a bind for different reasons. Right. So, um, so that part I think was really neat. Um, the uh, the art and everything is beautiful, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like it's really nice to look at, and I have a sweet spot for games that play with. Boom, just two. two people. So that for me is is always kind of like a little little bit of extra icing on the cake <laughs> because it's like this was definitely made scaled for a two player experience. Mm -hmm. Which keeps and, it tight. Yeah, we'll definitely go in my like recommended for two people. I agree. Games. Yeah, this is definitely um, up there with the that. strategy is there. This is not um, it's a light game. Um, it's not by any means, I don't think, something that you're it's not like you can read through the rule book once. Mm throw the rule book away and just play. Yeah. Um, because you do have to refer to, like even we were like, you, we refer to the scoring because you need to understand how the scoring works yeah. in order to play the game. So you'll probably find yourself playing this a couple of times just to kind of get used to how much should I be drafting? Mm -hmm. How much should I be placing out? Um, when should I start to grab some of those mm. uh, action postcards and right. things like that. So there is a there is a fun like learning experience that goes along with it if you're into that. And it plays so quick and it's so quick to get to the table uh, and it's enjoyable that that process is not an impediment at all. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Sense, so. I would agree. Yeah, yeah. And, and then there's there's definitely a lot of... Um, so you got to see the, the Eiffel Tower expansion, um, yeah. right? So that that was basically this this set of action cards, mm -hmm. the postcards. That All of them were from with the With all of these little 3D... Yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like uh, cardboard miniatures. I would yeah, call them, right? Cool. Little standees. They're really, really nice. The art and the components are really nice in this game for what it is, like such a small box game, um, which I think adds to the whole quality of the experience. Yep. And the fact that I like the, like these double layered three D um, tiles. That was like the first thing you said when you when you saw the game. Yeah, I, like, oh, so I cool. really like this. I think this is yeah. if you're gonna do a tile placement game, <laughs> like this is the way you do it. Like, come on. So, um, so yeah, I, I don't normally like playing in the game box, but I think this one works because it definitely gives you a, con a condensed area. Mm -hmm. Like you could play this on a plane, honestly. You you right? could, yeah. The, uh, Take you know, a turbulence. Somebody thing. puts the um, yeah. Uh, you could put this on one train. You could put all these cards on another train. And you're uh -huh. fine. Um, or you could even just could, have a pile saying, of cards. You yeah. You don't even have to really lay these out. No. Like you could literally have them in a in a on in a an deck. offer yeah. in a deck, and then as you claim them, just take them for take yourself. The card. Yeah. If you wanted to, and that so, would be just fine. Yeah. Now the the base game comes with eight other postcards right. where you could mix and match and play any variety of yeah of action postcard actions you want, and it, and it kind of changes the whole face of the game. And they're all like historical or, or like you know like special locations within, right. within Paris that that all makes sense you know yeah. what I mean that, that you're going to want to sort of experience well I like that the scoring kind of went along thematically with the buildings too mm -hmm. so it was like like with the uh, the poor quarters for example mm -hmm. you get more points for building on the on the like outskirts of town edges, yeah. because you're helping to bring you know uh, I'm say like 
renaissance. renaissance? <laughs> you're, you're building like a, a community in those impoverished areas and yeah. they appreciate that. So you get points for that. Yeah. Um, with the Louvre, obviously you want it to be not near anything else. Right, really, kind of like so you get the center of attraction and yeah. the Eiffel Tower like gives add bonuses to buildings around, around that that are illuminated yeah. by it. You know, so right. it does, it does it's have, cool. there's the, the theme ties in. Um, the art's nice, components are nice, the gameplay's fast, it's fun, mm -hmm. uh, and it's variable. Like it yeah. hits all the, it hits all the marks. So yeah, for me, this was definitely um, a surprising gem. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that pretty much uh, covers it, wraps it up. All right. So we hope you enjoyed our playthrough. We hope to see you next time. See ya.